Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Denny. In today's video, I will be doing a review of my Chanel Classic Wallet on Chain right here. I will be doing a little bit of a story time. I will share with you the dimensions, the price, the pros and cons, as well as some modeling shots. I bought this bag pre-loved. The date code starts with 14, so it was made in 2010 or 2011. It is in pretty used condition. However, I felt that the wallet and chains are relatively common and therefore I did not want to splurge and buy one at retail price from the boutique. I paid about 2000 Australian dollars for this bag and it currently retails for over $4,000. It has a classic Chanel strap which is metal interwoven with leather. Its weight is pretty substantial. This bag could actually double as a weapon. Mine here is a snap button closure and when you open it, there is a front slip compartment, a zippered compartment, another slip pocket over here and six credit card slots. There is also a zippered compartment over here and this compartment is pretty deep. It goes all the way down to the base of the bag down here. There is Chanel hot stamped up here and on the snap button closure here, Chanel Paris is engraved on it. On the back, there is a classic Mona Lisa pocket. In terms of the wear and tear of this bag, this bag is pretty well worn. So the paint leather is actually really soft and personally that's something that I like about this bag because often paint leather can be very stiff but once you've used it quite a lot, it softens really nicely. There is a little pen mark over here and I'm sure I'll be able to get that out with a little bit of alcohol or acetone but it's not particularly noticeable to myself. There is a little bit of color transfer on the back of the bag and there's also a crease back here that can't be helped because that's where it bends when you open up the bag. I think the overall color of the bag has actually darkened because I assume that the original color of this patent leather on the outside would have been very similar to the peach color here on the inside. There are some pen marks here on the inside as well and the leather is a little bit creased all around on the inside. The button closure is actually quite loose so it comes undone pretty easily and I guess there is a disadvantage of buying something pre-loved online. You can't really have a feel of some of these things. The leather on the chain otherwise uh, has some wear and tear as well. Again, not something that really bothers me given the price that I paid. So in terms of its condition, this bag was listed by the seller as 8.5 out of 10. And to be honest, when I first received it, I'm like, oh, I would have scored it 6.5 out of 10. And in general, that's why I usually go for bags that have a condition score of 9 out of 10 and above if I want the bag to be in really, really good condition. In the end, I decided not to return it to the seller because I felt that the condition of the bag was reflected in the price. This is of course a small bag but nonetheless you can actually expand it quite a lot. You can buy specific bag expanders for the Chanel wallet on chain on Etsy. The Chanel wallet on chain is known for its versatility and the many ways that you can wear it. It has this long shoulder strap. Now for someone short like myself who's only 5 foot 1 or 152 centimeters, when I wear it as a long shoulder bag, it is actually too long. There is also an option of wearing it crossbody. It's still a little bit long but not, not too bad. What I like to do is I like to double up the strap and wear it as a short shoulder bag. You can also wear it as a clutch by putting the chains into the bag. However, when you do this, the chains do take up a little bit of space and you do have to be a little bit more minimal with what you carry then. One of the cons of this bag is in order to snap that button shut, I do have to get a visual of the button just like so in order to push it close. Now, if this is something that really bothers you, I understand that Chanel makes magnetic snap closures now and I think those are supposed to be easier to snap shut. So go and check those out if this is a feature that will bother you. For someone petite like myself, I find small bags like these really suit my frame. I generally use this bag for evening events only. I could use it in the day, however, I do need to carry a bit more stuff. I also like using it later in the day because when there's not a lot of light, it actually makes this peach color a a bit darker and look a bit more on a dark beige side which is really trendy right now. Later in the evening or at night because it's not so bright you're less likely to spot the wear and tear on this bag as well. And given that it is paint leather it's of course very fuss free when it comes to rain. Okay so in terms of what fits really not that much at all. 
First, I want to show you that I've put in four cards in the card slots already. If you have a credit card with the curved edges, they tend to fit in these card slots. However, if you have like um, a loyalty card, I did not realize this, but they're actually just a tiny bit longer than credit cards and they won't quite fit in these slots. However, if you really wanted to bring a loyalty card along with you, you could put it in this slip pocket right here. I've also only put four cards in here because I find if I put in six, it will probably get Get a little bit tight and difficult to pull out. Now I also can fit my phone in here um, and then my car keys, a tiny tiny bottle of hand sanitizer, this is only five mils, uh, a lippy um, and, a, and a bag holder and that's probably about it. So as you can see from the side it does expand once you have filled it. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could slip a face mask in this compartment over here. In terms of this back pocket over here, I just want to demonstrate to you that it is quite deep. So it goes all the way down to the base of the bag. So for example, if I slide my fingers in, it goes all the way down here. If you're wondering whether a phone will fit in this back pocket, it certainly will not. <laughs> not really anyway. <laughs> but if you wanted to put a parking ticket in, Yes, that would fit in really easily for quick access. Now let me see if I can fit this chain in with all my stuff in it, say if you want to carry it as a clutch. Yeah, it will close and I guess you could carry it as a clutch. Um, but as you can see, it really gets in the way of everything. I just want to pull things out. Yeah, I guess you could if you don't really mind. Jumping in here, I actually realized that I forgot to tell you the story behind why I bought this bag. So the story is I actually wasn't particularly mindful when I bought this bag. <laughs> I was browsing some websites and this one came up. I liked the color, I liked that it was in patent leather, I liked the price and kind of just bought it after thinking about it maybe for under a week. The thing is at that time when I bought the bag my daughter was a bit over two years old and she wasn't the best sleeper and I was also a first time mom at the time. I had lots of things to learn, my overall reserve and energies were really low and willpower was essentially non-existent. <laughs> In the end I don't regret buying this bag but I'm usually a little bit more mindful than that. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give me a thumbs up. Certainly subscribe to the channel as well if you're interested in seeing more content from myself. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Danny O and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!